Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another unboxing video. Today we are going to take a look at the Death Guard Blight Lord Terminators. I picked these up a couple of days ago because they look cool and I figured they'd be fun to paint. So here we are. Uh, let me just grab my... As always, I'm very well prepared for these. So hold on while I rummage through here and look for my knife or something to cut this open with. I guess this will do. This won't take too much time up. Okay. And these were, let's see, $59.99 at my local hobby shop. I'm sure you can get them a little cheaper online. There's the uh, back of the box. They actually look pretty, pretty nice. I, I like the way, I like the aesthetics on them. That's why I got them. Obviously, I don't play, but I did enjoy the aesthetics. Did I say this was an unboxing? This is actually a build review. If I said this was an unboxing, I apologize. This is a build review. And if I did say build review, then I apologize for saying anything new. <laughs> Alright, so obviously get our uh, one, two, three, four, five bases. Five. Oh yeah, there are five of them. I'll figure. I thought there were four. Um, let's look at the sprues real quick. Or actually, yeah, let's look at the sprues first. Just to kind of get a better idea of the, all the detail on here. They look very nice. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a pain in the butt to clean, just like all Games Workshop plastics are. But they look pretty damn nice, that's for sure. And sprue 2. Take a look at the instruction manual. It's all very shiny. Got it. I almost hate the Games Workshop instructions as much as I hate like Dragon instructions or something because these are these are actually worse. Like the only reason they're not worse is because they're uh, smaller or they're smaller part counts. But fuck. I right, Bite Lord Terminator One Champion. Or Terminator 2 slash champion. So I guess you get two champion options. Am I reading that correctly? Or no, I guess you can make a champion out of all of them. Okay, that makes sense. And then you get. Yeah, okay. That I means pretty straightforward. Just, you know, get all the um, weapons options, obviously, and stuff. But it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so what I'm going to do is when I'm assembling, or when I'm cleaning these, I'm only going to clean off the weapon options I want to go with. So I'm not, like, spending extra time cleaning off shit I don't need. But, and here's their stats. I don't really know what any of this means, but those of you guys that do, here you go. Feel free to pause if I'm going too quickly, if, I'm to, if you want to take a look at this. But yeah, I have no idea what any of this means, so... That's it's like, oh, it's in different languages. That's why. <laughs> why is there so many pages? All right, let me um, let me start cleaning them. I'll come back when I'm ready to assemble. Okay, so I've got everything cleaned up. Although I may have screwed the pooch a little bit and mixed some of these up as they were sitting on my table here, and I've been moving them around, but. Start one at a time and we'll see if we can get it to work or whether it's screwed up. So, <clears throat> what I decided to do is go with the go with a lot of the heaven we weapon heaven weapons jeez heavy weapon options on these guys um, for no other reason than they just look cool or, or they look the best to me. Um, I don't actually know anything as far as the game goes uh, about whether they're good or not, or I have no clue, but the heavy weapon choices look very good to me, so I just uh, decided to go with those. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do have a bit of a do have a bit of a cough this morning, so I apologize for that, but um yeah, I'm actually oh, this is this is one of those things that has to go in first. Huh? Yep. 
<coughs> um, I'm actually looking forward to painting these. I think they're gonna be. I think they're gonna be fun. I've been looking forward to painting something Nergo for a while now. And I think these we do. <coughs> these will be perfect. Uh, because there's gonna be quite a bit of green on it, and I've been I've been jonesing to do some green, Nergo green that is. So yeah, so they should be fun. <coughs> I mean, the heads alone are pretty cool looking. So I picked like I picked the best looking ones I, <coughs> out of all of them that I thought were the best looking ones. Um, some of them may be, some of them may not be to you guys, but for me, I kind of went with all like the best looking ones or what I thought were the best looking ones, pretty much. Now you, you attach like this. Are you supposed to be standing here, buddy? <coughs> like this, right? Well, certainly not like this. By the looks of it, like this, but who the hell knows? <coughs> Don't we have to pull out the instruction book for this? I don't think I screwed up like the leg port. <coughs> I mixed up the leg portions of it that much, but hold on. That's the right. This is the right sequence here, so. <coughs> Am I like. Am I attaching this too early, maybe? Is that what's happening? Okay, so he's just like way out. <coughs> way out in front here. Okay. <coughs> okay, that makes sense. Hold on a second, this camera's still a little too, too far up. There we go. <clears throat> it's much better. <clears throat> okay, that works. So I guess the legs go on before the uh, the uh, front of the uh, the actual body goes on. If that makes sense. By the looks of it, at least. Does <coughs> yeah. like keep reverting back to where it was, or I'm just gonna have to do it the old way, huh? This way and this way. Let's see, I'm certainly looking forward to uh, to working on these, especially if they go together well, which I'm assuming they will. I mean, it's a five five figure kit. It's not like a huge kit or anything that should have shouldn't have any assembly problems at all. But. should go together quite well. And I'm hoping to be streaming this on Twitch here shortly, as soon as they're assembled actually. So, get them assembled, get them primed, and get going on them. <coughs> Cleanup wasn't too bad. Um, The mold lines actually weren't bad at all. I was expecting worse. 
I don't know how new this kit is. I mean, I know it's newish. I just don't know what newish is. Whether it's like this year new or like last year new, I don't remember, but <clears throat> mold lines weren't bad at all on these. So, that's a huge plus, obviously, because it just makes cleanup that much easier. And I am missing one of the shoulder pads from here, which probably got mixed in with one of these. Now, which one it is, I have no clue, so we're just going to mix and match. <coughs> Is this actually like... It's supposed to, but it doesn't. So it's supposed to like hook in here. But not really. It's not really. <clears throat> so we're just going to have to align it. As we attach it and hold it for it to dry. I have the, um, I have the Nurgle, uh, the Nurgle figures from, from the 40k starter set from a couple of years ago, or last year, or whenever the hell it was, I'm pretty sure there's a new one now, but I have the Nurgle ones, the Death Guard ones from then. I'm thinking if all goes well with this guy, with these guys, I might also pull out those guys and work on them as well because why not, right? Okay, is this the right sword that's supposed to go in here? Because <laughs> this is way too. <coughs> the right sword that's supposed to go on here. How in the hell that's supposed to happen though? I have no idea. I have no idea. Because like so you got this sword going on here. Okay. I'm making sure it's the right one. It is the right one. Got this sword that's supposed to fit on here. But this attachment point here is way, way too far out for this to even like begin to fit on here. So I guess it's something we have to cut off. This is falling off of his attachment point already. So is this going to become a pain in the butt now with these attachment points in the arms? Hmm. I hope not. But, but we seem to be having an issue now, our first issue. Not a huge deal right now, but not something you want to deal with, obviously. So I'm going to let this dry, and we're going to move on to the second one here. Um, but I do have to grab one. Do you have to grab my handy dandy clippers here for us to move on with the second or move on with this guy after he's dry? Okay, let's work on this guy. And this guy's gonna be a mix and match of parts, I believe, from the other guy, but <clears throat> okay, this this so the leg goes on first. We learned that already. Oops. Goes on first, like count. Okay. I really like the look of these guys. That's why, that's why I bought them in the first place because they look really cool. Textured bases make 
make it a little harder to glue stuff to. Okay, I'm going to make it a little harder for myself to actually see what I'm doing. But you guys are going to be able to see much better, hopefully. So. figure my life out here. There we go. That is much better. Oh yeah, the head. <clears throat> and I'll show you guys close-ups of all five of these guys when they're done. Obviously for the detail and stuff. I just like to get through with the assembly first. So I'm kinda... Not rushing. Obviously, but I'm kind of trying to get through this in a timely manner, too. So, number one, so the video is not too long, and number two, so I can actually get these guys based and flocked and primed and ready to go for today. For my stream, which I hope to start in a couple of hours, actually. So, because I would like to, would like to get as much painted on these guys as possible today. So, the sooner I start, the better. I haven't. I didn't paint yesterday at all. Uh, I took took the night off or the day off from painting yesterday because I was just exhausted from painting all week. And so I feel like I have to make up for it now. Excuse me. I really hope I'm not like coming down or something because that would suck. That would suck big time. I don't think I am, but hoping I'm not. But eh, go figure. Getting the axe and the gun, so the sword goes with this guy. Okay, that makes sense. And then this is his shoulder pad. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, this is going to be the only one I'm using a um, a regular a regular gun on. The rest of them are the the heavy weapons guys or the special weapons one. I think this is meant to be like my champion or something on here. So that's why I ended up. And just giving him a really badass looking axe, and the uh, the regular, I don't know, I call them storm bolters, but it's the regular, whatever the hell, bolter with a plasma attachment to it, to give him some, at least back in the day when I used to play 40k, plasma guns used to be pretty badass, so, I'm assuming they still are, but then again, who the hell knows anymore? <coughs> Plus this axe looks really cool on it. figure out how to attach this axe to This is going to be another one of those that doesn't let me attach it. I don't know what the fuck. Like, again, this sticks out way more than this, actually. So that's going to be another one that I'm going to have to cut down, isn't it? BTF. Uh, let's look on the big boy here. Ah, there's two torsos. Which one's which? Which one's which? And this one is the... Ah, this one is whichever one we, we'd like it to be, apparently. Ah, uh, fudge-sickles. This one's gonna be this one, so you're gonna get... 
head do you have? I'm using the happy head on you, okay, so you're gonna be this, this, no, this, this. This can go over here for now. This can go right here. I think that's it. I think so. Well, let's find out. <coughs> let's make sure. So far, so good. about doing something like fancy-ish with the bases but I couldn't really decide what to do or how to do it rather like I knew what I wanted to do I just wasn't sure how to do it like without spending way more time on it than I was willing to so we're just gonna go with simple simple bases simple sand and simple flock and so on and so forth Yeah, originally I thought about doing like, um, like a poisonous wasteland type thing like I did with my lava base on, um, on Magnus. But number one, I couldn't find, I couldn't find my, um, my cork board anywhere to be able to do it with. And number two... Like, uh, it's going to take extra time, and so on and so forth, so I decided against it. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Okay, you're not. everything here? Yeah, it is. Aren't you? Is it? Nope. It wasn't. Now it is. Now it is. Huh. This happens when I like, mix shit up. Confuse and throw myself off. Okay, that's the right stuff now. So, it's not these weapons that he's getting, it's this, and this, and this that he's getting. actually know what these are, like if these weapons are any good or not, I mean, I would imagine so, but I actually have no idea, so for all I know is I might be building like one of the worst squads of Blightlord Terminators that, that can possibly be out there, but, and that would be simple enough if I just like took a few minutes of my time and did like some simple research just to see okay what's well, a good build for these guys what weapons do we give them so on and so forth but nah 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 Let's stick this on here this is actually the this weapon here is actually fairly heavy, so I'm going to hold this down a little bit longer than normal. Make sure it doesn't fall off. There we go. And then the axe can go on. How does the axe go on here? Mm, this is the wrong axe. Another axe here somewhere, or did I cut the wrong axe off the thing? I think I cut the wrong axe off the. Th oh, this is the right axe. Now, 
else, uh, the other guy gets the other axe, maybe that's what they're not fitting. That might make sense. That might make sense. It may make all the sense in the world now. Because this shit as heck fits in this, looks cool. Like, I actually like... I like these rounded shoulder pads a lot more than... And the uh and the more square ones here pretty much, you know. Before I put all the uh, all the add-on shoulder pads on, let me let me let all this dry before it like starts coming off. Not to mention, I think we're gonna have to like decide which goes on what because I've got them all mixed to hell now. I'm gonna put them all together, but in the meantime, we can come back to this guy and give him his real axe. Was it this guy? Was it this guy that was getting the axe? Who was getting the axe? No, I don't remember anymore. So never mind. Let's just let's just leave these guys be for the time being before I screw myself up even more. Now let's do this guy. Obviously, and it's being difficult, obviously, because why wouldn't it be? Come on, come on. I know it's been too easy so far for us, but come on, come on, brah, don't be a dick. As far as uh, as far as other YouTube content goes for me, I will. I am trying to make it a concerted effort to put out more videos more frequently now. Well, soon. I'm moving soon, so after I move, I will make it a concerted effort to put out more videos. Um, that said, I have been streaming quite a bit, and I've been having a blast with that. So those of you guys that want to. And feel free to come check me out at twitch.tv slash ucworkshop.com And I'm usually on Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's why you haven't really been seeing much from me as far as YouTube content goes because I've been streaming quite a bit more. No, because I've just been having such a blast with it, like, with the live community interactions and stuff. And so, yeah. That's where I've been the last few weeks. It's just streaming away. And getting a lot done, actually, too. Which, those of you that follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash ucworkshop. And I post all my finished minis on there, and there's been quite a bit of them recently. At least for me, quite a bit of them, like... I'm not a very fast painter, but for me, it's quite a bit. 
And I don't know if this head's the right one for here or not, because it's not really fitting. Is this how it's supposed to be in here? Or? Is it supposed to be looking this way? the right head. What's this one? I think this might be the right one. I don't know anymore. <laughs> like I have no clue anymore. Okay. And I could kind of like this one here, but will it fit once we put the... They don't give you, like, the kit doesn't give you very many options to, like, interchange the heads and stuff, so by me doing that, I'm wondering, and I'm hoping, that we can actually make them fit here. I mean, if we don't, we don't, then I'll change it out, you know? But, like, yeah, the options that, I, that the kit gives you aren't very, aren't very customizable. Mm. No, that fits. Okay. I'm gonna throw some extra glue in there so it doesn't come off on us. Well, that makes me feel a little better. But the other one wouldn't have fit, so... It's not like super customizable, but... I guess if you could just... Yeah. Trial and error type deal, just dry fitting and figure out what fits and what doesn't type deal like we just did. Yeah, this one works. This is actually... This one's my favorite one out of the bunch, I think, just because he, he's got, like, the fly carapace and the, the fly arms and stuff coming. This one's going to be fun to paint. I think he looks really cool. But I do have to press them together because his fit's not super ideal. So I do have to hold them together for a few seconds here. stuff like this, I don't understand why they don't just cast it in one piece. It's not like it's impossible. Uh, slide molding technology nowadays, it's not like it's impossible to do this in one piece. I've seen a lot more complicated parts than done in one piece. And stuff like this, so, like, it's just completely unnecessary to, like, have to glue this together now and then possibly have like a seam line or a line going through I, yeah. stuff like this they should easily be able to do in one go okay how's this sword going is this the right sword or is this the wrong sword this might be the wrong sword yeah uh, did I pull the wrong sword off the sprue or what the hell did I do I may have I may have, so we may be in store for some sword cleaning here, because I don't see the right sword here. Darn it. So, uh, yep, we're supposed to use this sword. Damn. If I just didn't look, or I mean, clearly I didn't look, but why? I have no clue. So let's see. Let's clean this up all quick, like if we can. Of course, the attachment point here is in a really crappy place. Because why would it be anywhere but Games Workshop? Why would it be anywhere but? Mold lines here seem okay. Now this is how I like piss myself off and miss mold lines and then just find them like days later when I'm like in the middle of painting stuff, but that's okay. 
this point the rest of this seems the rest of this seems okay sword on here, see how badass that looks though? That's pretty cool. I decide that is when I decide that is cuz I'm certainly not oh, I'm certainly not looking forward to brush painting this much base coat onto here is this right no it's not is this right yeah no cuz there's freaking Can I just like meet you in the middle then? Now this looks a little. Yeah, now it looks a little better. Okay. That try. This needs to get this on it. But yeah, so I'm gonna make it a point to do and. And better content video too, obviously, because these like I like doing these uh, build review videos because they're easy for me. I mean, comparatively speaking, uh, you know, build review videos and like with cleaning the figure and stuff takes you know a few hours at the most, as far as uh, or as compared to a, a paint video, which can take upwards of days or a few weeks, even depending on what I'm working on. So these are obviously easier. That's why I do it just to put some content out there. Um, that said, I am going to make a concerted effort to try and make sure I'm putting out better content more often. And I've said that before, and I stuck to it a little bit. I stuck to it for a couple of months. But then I found Twitch, and stuff happened. One thing led to another. <laughs> I do have a, a Shadespire, that Shadespire Goblin review that I did last time, the, the build review. I do have those in process of being painted. So that's going to be, hopefully, within the next few weeks I can finish that one and do the video for those. Yeah, these attachment points for these guns, that's... I guess there's always, there's always a weak point of a kit no matter, like regardless, you know, and I think this one is the attachment points for the weapons, because this is just bad for all of these so far. Hold on. Make sure I drown this with glue now to make sure it sticks to whatever it's going to hold to. I do have to get new glue, and more glue because I spilled it. I spilled my, uh, my extra thin I think a couple of streams ago. And I still have some left in there, but not. I gotta get more. But yeah, like I said, I guess every kit has to have its its weak spots, and this this one certainly certainly the uh, The arm connections, the shoulder connections to the body, because that's just way too weak for my liking. But I refuse to pin plastic, so I ain't gonna fucking happen. That one, two, where's this head? Three. This guy's a little weird. Um, this guy's gonna be the one with the 
Oh, I forget what it is. It's like a flail, like a big two-hand flail. And I'm like, yeah, these bodies I'm like using... Maybe that's why I'm having like fit issues, because I'm using like bodies that I'm not supposed to be with like arms that are supposed to go with something else. Maybe that's why I'm having fit issues with the arms. Um, again, one would think that it'd be interchangeable. But who the hell knows? Well, I mean, if nothing else, like, if I manage to power through the fit issues, then at least we'll have, like, better... better variety. With, like, the heads and stuff. And the bodies. As long as I manage to make it all fit. Which... Ah, eh, no, this fits. Okay. I was afraid that this head wouldn't fit in here, but now it's fine. Okie dokie. Like, I think, yeah, I just need to get more glue, because I think there's only a little going on my brush, since, since there's not that much left in there. And I think that's the problem. Like, not nearly as much as I usually put on here, because half the time I drown these things in glue, and that's why they stick a lot faster. And now I'm, like, having to hold them down, and wait for them to dry, and just nonsense. Nonsense. Now here's here's the here's the kicker. Hopefully the flail arms fit this guy. Because if not, then I'm gonna have to go back and like take some bodies apart and shit for the right one that this is supposed to go on. Because this one might actually be a little tricky. That's what I get for like not following through with every figure and doing it correctly on every figure instead of like. Hmm. <laughs> like again, I'm like, well, they should be interchangeable and. Obviously, one should work well with the other, and if not, I'm like, I'll figure it out. But Which sucks, though, because then that just means you don't get very much... That just means you don't get very much, um... Variety with the kit, and that, you know, you have one thing has to stick to the other. So let's see if this... should. If I just cut these these off. Because he was originally supposed to go on this body, I think, right? Yep. And this guy was supposed to get what? Am I only off by one? Because if so, then it's not too late. Less of a pain in the butt than, like, having to, like, go back and... Or than having to, like, cut stuff off, you know? So this guy's supposed to go here. Let's do the flail part. Let's put that together. Like, this is, yeah, as I said, this is, like, the weirdest weapon in the kit. I wasn't too crazy about it at first when I had a closer look at it. I'm like, eh, you know what, it'll add nice variety to it. Um, I don't know if it's any good. I don't know what it does. I don't care to know. I just thought it would look different. Still think it looks weird. Um, but 
like I said, I think it'll add nice variety to it. Like, I don't think it looks cool by any means. I still think it's a weird design option, but... Um, yeah, variety. Is the spice of life, so they say. And now, how does this... Hold on, I gotta take this off camera real quick to see how the hell this attaches. Okay, easy enough. So it just goes like this. So, what we're gonna do is drown all this in as much glue as we can. And just stick it on here. And let it try. And now, where's his other arm? I have a funny feeling I didn't clean his other arm off because I don't remember cleaning anything off with that. Oh no, I did. Yeah. Go figure. Go figure. So let's attach this first. We know that this goes on this body. So let's attach that so we have a guiding point to where the other arm goes. So this goes hell. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded, like, screwing around with it and, and, like, mixing and matching, but this one being such a weird attachment, I kind of wanted to avoid doing that, you know? So. One second, I start with this. Okay. I'm gonna let this dry though, because it's still quite heavy. So in the meantime, let's figure these guys out. Okay, this guy's done. This guy's done. Whether properly or not, I don't care, but they're done. And this guy is gonna get this, and he was going to get a sword, and I think it looks like this sword. So let's see if this fits a little better on here. Yeah, it fits much better. So it wasn't... It probably wasn't the kit, it probably was you see and not using the right bodies with the right arms, but that sucks also, like I said, because it just doesn't give you much variety. It doesn't give you much room to like screw around and like do different attachments and whatnot. So um, all of these do come with like storm bolter hands or whatever you want to call them. I know they're not storm bolters for, for Chaos Marines, obviously for Nurgle Marines. But, um, they all come with those. And, like, hand weapon attachment, or close combat weapon attachments and whatnot. Even with, even with the right stuff being attached, it's still not like... It's still not like just snapping it on and attach, it's still giving me a hard time. Like, I have to let this dry before I like, which it shouldn't be, in my opinion, it really shouldn't be. Let's see if this is the right axe on here. Seems to be, yeah. But... This way, yeah, this way. Weird position to be holding an axe, and this one's gonna be a little odd looking, I think. Did 
lead odd. Just tap that. Like his arm being like back all the way like that's just I don't know. It's just weird looking to me. But that's all that's left is to put this guy's or sword on. So let me again let me drown this with as much glue as I possibly can. Obviously, I still have to sit here and hold it, but I think we're like in the right spot here. Son of a gun. Like, so yeah, so like these attachment points for the arms are disappointing. Ideally, you might want to pin them so you don't have to go through this shit that I'm going for. Um, You don't have to go through this shit that I'm going through, rather. So yeah, ideally you'd probably want to pin these at some point or other. And this is the right arm, so it's not like I'm mixing and matching at this point. This is absolutely the right arm. That's supposed to be here. But it's just not cooperating at all. Like back here, there's going to be that gap in there, which I can't do anything about at this point, because I guess I can stick more glue in there, though, just for good measure. Press it down one more time. I'm gonna let that sit before we do anything else to it. Now let's glue. This guy's gonna be a pain, isn't it? How's this even go on? Like so. Is there an attachment point here? Or what, what are we work? What, what am I working with here? So I like this and this. That's it. Ah, uh, and this arm's coming off now. Son of a gun! Really? Yeah, you guys pin these to make life easier on yourselves if you're assembling this, because this is... This should not be happening. With plastic cement, and it's just the attachment points suck. Alright, I'm going to put this aside to dry. Let's give these guys their shoulder pads now. And I'm not really going to, like... I'm not really gonna like care to give them the right ones, I just wanna give them like cool looking ones that I like basically. So I think this guy's gonna get this one because he's got like the most tentacle stuff on him. This guy's gonna get the weird gooey one if I can find it. Where is it? Oh, there's two more here, there we go. This guy's gonna get the weird gooey one. This guy can get... Uh, I don't know. Oh, the fly guy. Where's the fly guy? Excuse me, this guy can get that. Now, what a pain in the ass are these gonna be to attach? Let's see. I mean, there's like... Crappy attach, yeah, these are gonna suck too, like, mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Are all these attachment points the same on here? Probably. Yep. So they're not like shoulder pad specific or anything. Of that nature. So all the attachment points are just as crappy. Okay. And I don't have the ability to drown these in glue, obviously, since I'm running so low. And then I'm like having to like hurry and stick these on here before my stuff starts drying. to give uh, the guy with the flail a little bit longer to dry because of how heavy that flail is and that little arm needs to support that weight. So I think once we're done with this I'm going to let this sit for like 10-15 minutes and then come back and finish it off because I'm, I'm worried it's going to fall off otherwise. And that's just going to be an exercise in frustration. More so than it needs to be. So now let's just pick some cool ones. This guy's horny. Yeah. Let's give him some cool horn ones. Oh, he's our champion too, so let's give him some like badass looking ones. Now that covers his face too much. What about this one? That's cool. That one's cool on that side. Games Workshop has really known how to grind my gears recently with these kits, especially these assembly kits. I did the, um, you guys haven't seen this yet, actually, or yet, I don't think you ever will. You d I did the, uh, Imperial Knight assembly. Um, the, I think it's like the Canis Rex or something or other one. And, uh, I was so completely, incredibly negative throughout the entire video, and I mean just, like, completely negative and just swearing up a storm just because of how poorly designed that kit is that I chose, decided against, like, putting up a build video of it. Um, like, it was even, like, and I'm usually, like, I know I'm not the most positive person in the world by any means, so, I mean, I'm usually negative in all my videos anyways about stuff I don't like, but no, this one was like... This one was like too much for me even, so I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna post that one, because it was just... Yeah, it was just negativity after negativity. <laughs> a negative comment after negative... It was just such a poorly designed kit. Um, I might do like a spoof video of it at some point just so it doesn't go complete to, completely to waste. Um, but, yeah. GW's certainly finding ways to grind my gears. And, like, making me assemble, like, piss-poor design kits. And, like, I, I understand they're they're a miniatures company, they're not a model company, so, like, as far as, like, higher assemble kits or higher part count kits, this arm's also coming off. I get it, but it's not that hard to find somebody who actually knows what they're doing. 
and design kits that assemble well. Instead of this bull snatch. That I'm fighting right now. Like, there's not even like. There's not even like an attachment point to this period. Anyways, uh, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let all these dry and finish the assembly and come back to you guys for a final because we're already running too late and too too long anyhow so I'll be back shortly when they're all done we'll do the final and then, then I'll say our goodbyes so I'll be back in a sec okay so I think everything on these is dry enough it's actually been like two hours two and a half hours maybe um, I lost a bunch of the uh, shoulder pads some arms the, these were a mess I think I need new glue I actually think it's my extra thin that's starting to go bad now so I refuse to believe it's anything to do with the plastic. Anyhow, let me give you guys a quick walk through each of these figures, a quick little walk around. Quality on these is great. I mean, they went together very nicely. Uh, nicely detailed, obviously, like one could expect from, from Games Workshop figures. I mean, overly detailed, obviously, like one can expect, but... I mean, that we kind of knew what we were getting into. This guy, as I said, is probably my least favorite of the bunch. No, only because of the, the flail. It's, just, it's a little too odd for me. For something like a 40k figure. But, I mean, the quality's just the same on him like it is on the rest of them. I like this guy's uh, helmet here. It's a simple, but it's uh, still pretty cool. I already flocked them, obviously, too, while I was waiting on everything to dry, so... So I don't have to, like, waste any time. This guy is probably my second favorite one, just overall how he looks. I like the bloated belly, and just the helmet looks really cool. So this guy's probably my second favorite one. Okay. Plus the chainmail, I do like the chainmail on him as well, and this guy is my favorite one, only because of the uh, the fly look and the fly carapace and stuff. But yeah, very good quality. I mean, I highly recommend. Just be careful with the arm uh, uh, connection points. Uh, I think I'd like to give them a little bit, or I'd like to see a little bit more um, customization options, but overall, not bad. I... I they're, they're a good kit. I mean, for 60 bucks, I mean, it's, I pay 60 bucks for it all day long. And especially if I was, you know, a Nergo player and so on and so forth. They, they look good for what they are. So, anyhow, as I said, there will be more uh, videos hopefully coming... coming more often in the next few weeks. Uh, starting to in the next few weeks, at least. Other than that, thank you for watching. Um, again, feel free to check me out on Instagram, slash UC Workshop, or on Twitch, slash UC Workshop as well. Thank you, everybody, for watching. For those of you guys that keep watching and keep subbing to me, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.